I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano is uh, is one of the um, one of the last pianos that uh, is remaining from our conservatory, which went uh, um, belly up, I guess you could say, <laughs> with the uh, at the pandemic and in COVID closure. COVID closure. That's right. In what was it, March or April, when when uh, um, everybody was freaking out. Everybody dropped out of the of the uh, uh, piano lessons conservatory, so our enrollment went from like 150 to like 20 in a matter of days. And so we just said, "I'm just going to close it. We're not going to try and rebuild it." And we had we had all grand pianos. We had um, I don't know six or eight of them, something like that, in the in the conservatory, and we've sold off most of them. Um, but there are. I think right now there are two two left, and this is one of them. We haven't uh, we haven't marketed this one yet, so this is the first um, first video we're making. Um, this piano is actually in in like perfect near perfect condition. Um, most of the most of the pianos that that we put in the conservatory um, we put in when we opened. The conservatory in 2014. This one, however, I think we put in um, a few years later. And even so, even, even the pianos that were put in early on in 2014, they weren't really they weren't really used um, all that heavily. Two hours for beginning um, beginning lessons, um, Monday through Friday, and and so there's a and there's a huge difference, by the way, in use between beginning lessons where they're just kind of plunking out trying to learn basic notes and rhythms versus like a college uh, uh, practice room where where advanced players are pounding. So that's definitely not the case here. And, and furthermore, we maintain them very, very well. If, if these pianos ever had an issue, the teachers let us know very quickly. Um, and so so they were maintained super, super well. Plus we're, we're a team of about a dozen piano technicians. So at any given time, they could just we were at their beck and call to take care of any sticking keys or tuning issues or whatever it was. So this particular piano um, is five foot seven, which is great, great size for a living room. Um, below uh, five foot two, I think, is kind of technically where baby grand um, ends. Is is a that's a little bit small for my taste. Usually pianos that small don't sound quite as good. I mean, they, they, they can sound really good, um, and usually they'll sound better than most uprights, but, uh, but they're, they're just a little bit, um, they, they just don't have the power of projection, or they, they kind of sound tin canny, I guess. Once, once you get like five foot four, five foot six, or in this case, five foot seven, you start to get a little bit more, um, more power of projection. The bigger, the better. Um, but but a lot of people feel like when you get up even bigger than this, you know, five ten or six foot, it starts to kind of take over the living room, so it might be a bit much um, size wise. So so this is this is a really good really good middle ground. Um, I don't know what what to say. I've been selling these Hall Davis pianos for probably well, since two thousand ten, I guess. So, so 11 years, and they, they hold up really well. I've sold a lot of them, and people, people really like them. Um, they're very economical, they sound great, they play well, they have very few issues. Um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's listen to it. It's a nice, nice depth and warmth.
it's a nice nice little uh, nice little grand piano come check it out here the uh, address here is 1497 South State Street or you can uh, you can schedule an appointment with me online at on the website thanks for watching